Happy New Year. Um, the lady doesn't want me to film, that's okay, I respect that. But I hope to get a lot of good stuff. Oh, hey everybody. Well, uh, that went pretty well. Made a deal with the lady. Um, I bought four or five boxes of items. Uh, a lot of it wasn't really my style, but um, more knick-knacky houseware. Well, house home decor type stuff. But uh, I'll show you some of the things. I'll, sh I'll try to show you everything. How about that? Okay, here's a few cool pieces. I'm sure you've all seen these before. They come in different colors. They're vintage, probably from the 70s. Um, I think I got four of those, all different colors. We've got some nice old vintage glass here, a, a vase. Uh, this guy's cool. I mean, probably made in China. I don't know. It's made, made to look bronze, but he's cool. So I already priced him out at 20 bucks. Um, this Mac ashtray, it sells on eBay anywhere between 40 and about $140. So I think I'm going to put this guy on eBay. What else do we got? This bin, one of these wooden boat shelves, probably not old. There's another chicken thing there. Um, tell me what do you guys think of this stuff uh, Lilliput Lane it's called I'm sure you've seen it um, I don't know I looked up a couple of the bigger ones and they, they're going for pretty good money like 50 to 100 bucks which surprised me so I, I bought them all that's just half of them there um, you got this stuff usually buy a lot of the African carvings but this one's unique I've never had a giraffe before and he's a good 16 inches tall um, so some antlers that have been bleached I believe yeah those are the real deal I've seen fake ones a nice old globe uh, nice old lamp here so mostly you know lady type stuff which is fine um, a few old clocks west clocks probably from the 60s maybe even 50s I think some of those could do well oh here's a good one this uh, juice reamer this one might be uranium let's check it out Ooh, let's check it out with the black light here oh yeah it is here Let's, I'll show you guys if you don't know about uranium glass it's uh, really cool and it brings good money like this uh, check that out sweet um, that's probably a $75 juice juicer there so yeah if you ever see glass in this light green color buy it if it's five ten bucks for something like this just buy it because it's quite collectible okay what else do we got here we got half of a shotgun i picked up not too long ago it has no writing or markings on it whatsoever um yeah anyways there's a story behind that one but okay check this out i've never had one of these um it's a fireplace screen uh it's probably from the 60s i would guess it's brass and it folds up it's really cool and i saw these selling on ebay for between about 75 and 200 dollars so we'll see it's a little bit big to ship i can't do that with one hand but anyways a bit big to ship so I'm I might not put it on eBay uh, more colored glassware I got a bunch of costume jewelry there might have been a gold chain in here which is really small no, that's not it oh yeah that's gold there so you know even just scrap gold that could be easy 50 bucks right there so pick that up most of the rest of it 
just uh, you know old brooches and stuff I just package these up and sell them for five bucks a piece in my antique booth uh, this is a really nice old purse I'll have to look for some markings on that but I mean not really what I sell but hey if it sells I shouldn't be too picky right um, just more colored glass so I've got a poodle on it oh we got let me put these in the light I haven't looked up a name on these could be Sherman See if that's gold. Don't think. No, I don't think it is. Um, this is really nice. Kind of a cranberry color. Any markings? Not that I see right now, but I gotta put my uh, jeweler's loop on it and have a closer look. Uh, really cool piece there. Here's another one. That's nice as well. If this has a good brand name, it could be worth probably 100 to 150, but I gotta check it out. Even unbranded, that, that should go for 40 bucks for sure. Okay, what else here? These clocks, I wasn't too sure about. I didn't have time to look up the name, but I saw Germany and that's always good. Mikasa, Germany. And I got two of these Mikasas. It's probably real crystal, I would imagine. It looks like it. What else do we got here? Ooh, a conch shell. So for quite a while now, they don't let you bring the, these back from Mexico or wherever. So it's illegal to, to transport them. But the ones that are already here are perfectly legal. And the value of these is going up lately because they're hard to find. And this one's in perfect condition. I don't think there's any chips on there. Uh, yeah, that's a real beauty. There's a good market for shells. I wouldn't be surprised if that uh, brings about $100 on eBay. Okay, we got another juicer. Just a clear glass one, but... You know, I'll get 20 bucks for that in my antique booth. And some Pyrex uh, casserole dishes here. More colored glass. Another watt or clock here. Anyways, I paid 280 for everything. And I think I'm going to do okay here. These are neat brass birds. I think I'll do all right. Um, I probably well double to triple my investment here. It's a really cool old clock. There's some more. Oh, this I was quite excited about here. It's a knife set, but it's from Japan, and some of these knife these knives can be worth a lot of money. Here's the, the knives. Uh, German steel. Handles are a little faded. I don't know what that's all about, but maybe I can clean that up. Uh, yeah. German steel. They're called Curidori. Curidori. So I gotta look those up. But some of these Japanese knives can be worth a pretty penny. Uh, this is kind of neat. Break anything here. These cute little cats. That's a $20 bill there. Um, this is like a little rug. And I think it's made out of rabbit fur. See, it's all stitched together. With a bunch of small pieces. It's in really good shape. It's not falling apart. A lot of these old ones, the hair is just falling everywhere, but this one's really nice. Super soft. I gotta confirm it's rabbit. That's what I think it is. Looks like it. Um, anyways, yeah. 
you know, not a fantastic deal, but I mean, if that's worth a hundred bucks there and the, the Bulldog's worth 50, you know, a couple of these jewelry sets, there's my money back right there. So the rest is all gravy. And, uh, there you have it guys. Uh, uh, yeah, she didn't want me to film. She was embarrassed because it was messy, but obviously I don't care. Um, but that's okay. Um, stay tuned and uh, we'll see you on the next pick, I guess, or whatever I'm doing. Bye for now. Hey, good morning, everybody. Hope you're all doing well today. Uh, we're coming towards the end of January here and uh, later this morning I'm going to an estate sale so I'm gonna see what I can buy and flip on eBay or marketplace for a profit uh, first I got a couple of home checks to do uh, it's no surprise to some of you that I've got a few different jobs I have a home watch slash security business so I look after people's homes while they're off to Mexico or traveling or whatever so I do uh, usually weekly checks for people. So I got a couple of those today. We're gonna go to the estate sale and uh, yeah, see what else we'll get up to. So uh, thanks for uh, coming along here. And uh, we'll see you at the estate sale. January and all, do you guys uh, have any New Year's resolutions? I'm sure some of you do. Maybe uh, comment down below because I'm curious. Uh, mine is to not hit up every fast food joint on my way to uh, picking gigs. So I got me some peanuts every time I'm hungry and the uh, Tim Hortons or the McDonald's tempts me. I just reach for a handful of these and uh, my hunger's pretty much instantly gone. So that's what I'm doing. What are you guys doing? It's 11.15 a.m. and uh, the sale starts at noon. But uh, as you guys know, you got to always try to get there early, at least half an hour early. Um, many times these people that run estate sales, they see a lineup early. They'll just say, ah, whatever, let's let them in. So... Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. Right, just pulled up here. Beautiful spot right at the ocean. Um, uh, anyways, the, uh, the gate's closed. People are, are standing there. I think I'll just hang out in the van. It's funny, I see uh, quite a few familiar faces. I actually work for... Uh, a state sale company part-time and uh, yeah lots of familiar faces so yeah we'll just hang out and wait uh, actually why don't I show you guys the ocean while we're waiting <laughs> So uh, this is the house here. Probably gonna be a teardown. It's probably gonna go for sale. Uh, a lot of these old houses here on the beach are uh, getting ripped down. And as a teardown right there, that's probably two million bucks. And they're probably gonna spend a million bucks building something new there. But, I mean, okay, so here's a couple of newer ones that went up actually pretty recently and uh, th there were old houses on those properties as well but pretty darn beautiful out here on this winter's day
Well, there's at least 20 cars lined up here. I don't think we're going to uh, be getting an early opening. But I'll continue waiting in my car where it's a lot warmer. Oh, I don't blame her. So I think I've been really spoiled over the last year or so, going on all these private picks, being one-on-one -on -one with the, the person selling their items, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is not my cup of tea. The more I go to these estate sales, the more I, I hate it, honestly. just I just don't like the crowds, I don't like competing, it's just, I don't like the frenzy. Um, so I think I'm going to be doing less of these going forward. Um, thankfully I've I've been able to go on lots of these private picks at least one one every couple of weeks or so so I'll keep doing that it's a, it's definitely a better way to go prices are usually better that way and uh, yeah you don't deal with these crowds which kind of drive me nuts Um, you know, I have this. <laughs> 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 better, better get your wood carving. Yeah, let me go. Hey, Ron. Hey, what do you see? Yeah. I well, thought this might be you guys. Weren't you having a sale this week? We're having one in two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where's it at? Andover Road in Fairwinds. Okay. Excuse me, I didn't see a price on these guys. Hmm. Ten bucks each. Oh, that's okay. a good deal. That's not bad. Yep. I didn't see a price, so I left it. <laughs> there was another set. Oh, was there? Yep.
So I didn't see that sign right away when I saw the postcards and I was thinking, yeah, maybe this whole box is worth 30 or 40 bucks, but uh, at a buck a piece, yeah, no thanks. Um, so they basically want like $3,000 for that box of postcards. Uh, that's not price. And the lady upstairs, I think it was her, said ten a piece on those. Ten, so um, all right, twelve altogether. Okay. Wait a minute. Here, as I'm editing this, I realized I got a deal on these because I mentioned that the lady upstairs, which is the other lady there, said ten bucks a piece on these, and then this lady said, "Give me twelve bucks." For everything so uh yeah i guess i lucked out there i didn't even realize it hey rich how you doing good uh, how are you yeah. good to see you. how are <laughs> yeah, you doing pretty good well do you find any gems <laughs> not really a couple of these nice uh on onyx yeah. bookends yeah that's fine oh, are they nifty yeah and uh were you looking at winchester or you had uh an over under there i think that i liked Oh, and the and the thirty thirty, yeah. Okay. So yeah, possibly, well, we but could, it's, we could we'll talk turkey. We could talk, yeah. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was a pretty terrible estate sale. Prices were really high. There wasn't a lot there. A lot of good stuff, anyways. The stuff that was so so was priced extremely high. Uh, just ended up with those Onyx bookends and still 10 bucks a piece is up there I mean I'll, I'll double my money on those but not much more um, let's see if I can fit through here it's pretty busy yeah estate sales it's they're not really my thing I have better ways of sourcing that's kind of I might go to a couple a year but every time I go I I just can't stand it. I don't like competition. I don't like bumping into people. I don't like someone in front of me grabbing something that I wanted. It kind of pisses me off. So yeah, private picks is where it's at. You just put ads out, newspapers, put ads on Facebook, uh, bulletin boards, just offering uh, that you're a buyer of whatever you buy. I'm mostly into vintage, vintage stuff, collectibles, antiques. And uh, I probably get a call every week uh, just from that. I pay for uh, a little coffee newsletter that goes out to uh, different coffee shops. And I pay up, I pay, you know, a thousand bucks a year for that. But I mean, a thousand bucks, that's just potentially one item will pay for your whole, your whole ads there for a year. So yeah, something to think about for uh, all you other resellers out there. Um, maybe try a different angle because I don't know maybe you have better luck at estate sales but I just can't stand them garage sales I don't mind they're not quite as busy but uh, yeah estate sales are not really for me but this one was in the neighborhood thought I'd check it out anyways uh, I think that's gonna be it for this video a uh, short one but uh, stay tuned uh, to have uh, one coming out every week as we get into garage sale season here. So, uh, all right, thanks for watching. Take care.